What's up everybody, my name is Badums, and today I'm bringing you some gameplay in a new game I just picked up called Super Mega Neopug. Super Mega Neopug is a, basically a Flappy Bird clone on crack. It is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it's only 99 cents on Steam, uh, however you can pick it up on sale sometimes, because I picked it up on sale and it was only 59 cents. So, I mean, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but I'm just going to throw that out there. Uh, the game's only single player, and all you have to have is a mouse. Uh, there is no controller support, but all you need on your mouse is to left click. That's literally it. Uh, there are Steam trading cards out of the game. If you're big enough Steam trading cards, this is a really cheap game you can get to pick up some cards. Uh, so, the first thing I come into this game, I think, is when I start playing is this is literally flat. Right? So, on the mouse, you just, you just hold... You just hold down to fly up, and if you're not holding it down, you go down. But as you can see here, I'm in kind of a little desert area. And that's some bullshit, because those little fireballs on this map are so hard to see, because it's white and the white background on the back, they just blend in. But anyway, so, you can unlock characters sometimes, you can see here, this is the starting one, which is just a pug with a cape. And so I've unlocked this one with a Santa hat, and there's also one with a sombrero. I'm gonna switch to this one with a sombrero real quick. Um, leaderboards, like I said, you can see the leaderboards of the top people in the world. This guy's gotten 119,000. He's a cheater, or somebody who's completely lost his mind. Uh, either one, I... Shame on you. <laughs> so options, there's nothing really much to choose here. All the graphic settings are chosen before you get into the game. Uh, so you can just change your sound effects, music, you can mute everything, and there's some screen effects you can turn off as well. Okay, so let's, uh, let's play a little bit more here. Okay, so there's a bunch of different levels. This one's space, the last one was the desert level. So you can see there's these coins that you can pick up, but I have 393 of them. I have played this game for about 30 minutes, and I have yet to find out what they do. I think they don't do anything. I think they're just there for you to go for them and to mess up your run. So this is kind of like the garden level where there's bees flying around. And those red ones are pretty shit because they'll fly around and mess you up real bad. There's some geese flying by or something. I don't know what those things are. And the occasional asteroid because, you know, this planet has low gravity and asteroids are something you have to look out with along with the giant bees and the recurring mountains and forests in the background. Dude, th th those geese will fuck you up real bad if you get up top and stuff because... Okay, so this is one of the first bosses of the game. Don't know how to beat these. Have no clue. All it does is shoot rockets at you and I have not figured out how to beat it. So take that into account. I guess that was my high, I got a high score that time, so... Take that for something. Uh, and you also see at the bottom here there's these snow globe things. You can pick these up in certain levels and they all have a different kind of just flavor text to them. I don't know. It's, it's, they're stupid. <laughs> like, you'll go for them and it'll just completely fuck you sometimes. But this game is pretty fucking hard anyway. Like, it, sometimes you'll just get into areas where there's literally no way to get around, around anything. I almost didn't get through that. But, uh... It's also very rage-inducing sometimes, because you'll be on a good run, and, uh, I'll suck a ball this coin. But, uh, you'll be on a good run, and it's just like, there's no way I could have gotten by that at all. There's no way. And so, I know that one there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the game. It's just a, like a Flappy Bird clone. I mean, if you pick it up for 59 cents, it's, I mean, what are you losing, right? I mean... This is kind of like Bit Blaster, where you can just kind of go into it and play it if you want to, and for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes while you're waiting on friends, or if you just really enjoy Flappy Bird, like I know some people do, uh, you can try and get the highest score, which is over 119,000 by that guy who cheated. See, it's because it, you see those fireballs? They're literally white on the white background. It's so stupid. And you get the flaming birds and the dead crows and this one, whatever those things are. So I, like I have 465 points. Don't know what they're for. 
And sometimes these power-ups that come in, like this is a shield where I can just run into stuff and knock them across the map with a reckless abandon. Like, just, I think if you knock them into something, I'll make it disappear. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's glitchy sometimes too. So when the shield runs out, it's supposed to destroy everything on the screen. Sometimes it leaves things so up. So, you know, up to the game, basically. Oh, we're on the, we're on the boss again. So the boss hits at 3,000, I'm saying here. Oh boy. Oh, no, flew right into that one. <sighs> Fucking bees and random asteroids. I'd never want to live on this planet. I would die in, in a heartbeat. This pug would outlive me on that planet. This planet's like... I don't even know. Oh, look, more asteroids and fireballs. I wouldn't want to live on this planet either. I can say that whoever did the art for this game, they did a really good job with the pixel art. Whoever did the music also did a really good job. There's a soundtrack for every different level, and whoever made it did a really good job at stylizing it to the, to the level. See, I'm just like, okay, so here's another one of the power-ups. These are the only two power-ups I've ever seen, are the shield power-up and this little, uh... Magnet power up. Only two. Maybe later on, if I get good at uh, Super Neopog, then, uh, you know, I'll get some more. I've been playing Dark Souls 3, and uh, it hasn't made me rage as hard as this game sometimes. I, I, I don't know what to do. I've got no clue. I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot something at this thing, or if I'm just supposed to wait this out. I... I've got... I guess I've got... Okay, well, I beat the boss, apparently, but it shoots out those little things that, you know, are impossible to dodge. High score, though. That's good. Not really. See, the, the pug points are the... are the coins, but there's literally nothing to do it with. Nothing. So, music, Felix, Efiren... What a great job. Pixel Art, Daniel Steer, Fridas Gabriel. I hope I'm saying your name right. Great job. Vampire Say, you programmer? I wish nothing but destruction upon your house. See, it's, there's coins in the spawn in the asteroids. Like, it's just like, mm, come get them. Mm, come get them. Oh, no, you're dead. Sorry. Oh, say, look at that! Look at that! How was I supposed to get by that? How? You've got low gravity garden world here, and flame desert. Oh, shield right after that. I don't even know what those purple things. I'm guessing they're cats since I'm a dog and those things are flying at me. I don't know. It's I just. This is my last time. I'm gonna try to attempt to beat the boss. And if I can't, you guys try to attempt to beat the boss because apparently I can't do it. Fucking asteroids in low orbit right above the ground. This game is scientifically accurate to a T, let me tell you what. See, I was expecting a trap there. I was expecting to die from some bullshit way, but I didn't. Okay, boss fight here, boys. We're gonna get it. Or, or that rocket almost hits me in the face right off the bat. So it looks like there's a cat in the big cat machine firing rockets. Which is, uh... You know... Well, that's gonna be it for this way, guys. Uh... Uh... I rate this game... Two out of five. Similarly for the fact that I used to play Fappy Bird and I raged uncontrollably and almost broke my phone one time. And because this game makes me do the same thing. And it makes me die internally a little bit. So, uh, what would you like down in the comment section? Like and favorite, if you want to. I really don't care. Uh, but, no, I do care. I'm joking. I really want you to like and favorite. Uh, but that'll be it for this week. Check out two weeks from now, and there will be another game. But in the meantime, next week, 
watch BCD's video of what he puts up for Fight Finds new version. See you guys later. Bye.